Right, welcome back to the Average Golfers channel. I'm down here at Four Golf to test another jumbo grip. There was so much interest and a bit of confusion as to why a few weeks ago when I tested out an eight year old driver with an XL Jumbo Max grip on, why did it perform so well? The obvious thing was to stick a new grip onto my current driver. We'll do some testing and see, was it pure fluke or is there something in these jumbo grips? We'll soon find out. Right, so back to four golf shortly, but right now I'm at Carden Park in Cheshire and I'm about to test this club out here on the fairways in reality. But there's a bit of a twist with this. We'll start at four golf very shortly and we'll get that dry ball data because what I've done is this. The query was from the previous week's video that I had used an eight year old driver. Wasn't my driver, wasn't my shaft. I literally borrowed it just for the video. We were baffled by the numbers that were achieved and hence why I'm back here today. So I have got my Jumbo Max ultra light grip large on a modern shaft. It's on my current driver, but I've also got a regular shaft, the identical shaft with a regular grip on. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to return back to four golf, collect data with both these uh, driver shafts, see what the difference is between the two. And then you're going to return, join me here, where I'm going to try this out on the fairways in reality. But for now, back to four golf. Right, so I am as interested in this as anybody, to be honest with you, because I was, like I said, so confused with the performance last week. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off, I've already collected data and hit balls with by regular shaft, regular grip. Just as a point of reference, I use the Epic uh, Max LS head and there's a 50 gram stiff shaft in it. As you can see from the three shots that I'm going to show you now, my performance was pretty decent. Testing the tips has done me a few favours, to be fair. Um, first ball out there, 240. Uh, we got another ball out there at 241. And uh, as you can see, that final ball was right on the tips, to be honest with you, in terms of my own performance at 246. And that's as good as I've hit all year in terms of anything with that Max LS driver on a video. The confusion lies with last week when we recorded the sort of uh, the Jumbo Max grip video, I recorded data high end 248. And last week when I tried it off camera, we broke that 250 barrier for the first time. So it led to me re uh, ordering some of these grips. And what we've got on today, it's a Jumbo Max Lite, it's slightly different. And this is large, it's a large grip size. So slightly smaller, obviously than that XL, but not a lot in it to be fair put it onto this same shaft as what we've got. I'm gonna hit some balls, I'm gonna tell you again what I see out there, record some data, and what did I actually experience today. I've gotta to admit, first thing is that switching into it this week, it doesn't feel anywhere near as alien. So even though uh, it's far from the norm, just having a go over it in these previous two weeks and the sessions that I've been in here, it feels, uh, feels okay. I'm used to it. I'm much more comfortable when I thought last week I didn't think I would anywhere near be able to, to hit a shot. But anyway, let's stop talking for a little bit. I'll hit the first one. We're on track, man. Let's see if we can get one going and see what happens. Can we get up and out there again? Right, here we go. It's a little high launching ball. It's going towards the left bunker, is it? So we've got left bunker as the line. 240 carry. That's not a bad start again. So the 240 carry was, uh, was again very similar to a ball. I'm pretty sure we achieved that with the other driver, regular driver, hen, uh, regular driver shaft on. So we've achieved nothing different as there. Probably one of the things that you notice with this grip on and I don't know whether, again, this is good or a bad thing. You certainly have to work just that little bit harder, otherwise the club head can seem to be just get left behind a little bit. So it's important that uh, you go on to that sort of first tee with some positivity and don't hold back on this. Right, let's give this one another go. Come on. That's a ball. That's going for miles. It's going in the bunker. No, wow. 256 yards, oh my God, that is literally, that is the longest ball we've recorded um, at any point, Han. Huh? 
We've got a yes from Han. I'm pretty sure that I have never done anything like that in terms of carry. I thought we were going in the bunker, but 256, that's, I said to you last week, I recorded 254. That's way out there and far, far different than what I was expecting, I'll be honest with you. In the warm up to this, we've not seen massive differences. I've tried both shafts getting ready and we were in and around that sort of 240 mark plus, but 256 is by far the biggest ball we've hit so far. And again, no logic to this whatsoever. I'm gonna try one more ball. I'm still a little bit confused by this, right. It's another solid strike as well. We've got right down the middle here. My God, I mean, this is just flying down there. That's 253 yards. That's incredible distance. And again, the confusion is, and I've come off the sort of um, regular shaft just sort of 15 minutes ago. And uh, I can assure you, we haven't broke 250 with it. I don't want any spoiler alert right now, but to achieve two balls while the camera's on at 256 and 253, I'm, Again, a bit like last week, a little bit confused because it's very difficult to apply some logic in this. A lot of people last week spoke about how that one, it kills their hands, and I'm certainly really understand that it does that. And also people saw uh, it delayed the sort of release of the club head a little bit. And again, there's some logic in that, relax the forearms a little bit. So again, all these logics that might apply to as to why you might increase certain uh, numbers, but it still, for me, leaves so much confusion, but the mere fact that we're now in sort of, um, well, we're a number of balls in, and yet again, this three weeks running, I broke 250 with a, a jumbo max grip on, suggests there is something in this, I just, for whatever reason, I just can't fully jump into it and accept it. I don't know why. Oh, what a ball to finish, stroke one. Another drive. And another straight shot, which is the bit that absolutely, it riles me in some ways, to be honest with you, because like I said, I would love to be able to put more logic in it. The only thing that I can say is that it's killed the hands. And again, we've seen more shots that have gone straight. In terms of dry ball data, I'm gonna flip back to what we gathered between the two different shafts uh, earlier on at four golf. And to be honest with you, there's no real story there, unfortunately, either, because all it tells me is that there's a little bit more club head speed with the, uh, with, the, with the fatter grip. Now again, does logic apply to that? There could be a little bit of delay in the release of the club head. People talked about relaxing of the forearms, not being able to really grip tight and throttle down. So again, that killing of the hands. And it, so logically, have we produced a little bit more club head speed? Therefore, a little bit of ball speed, I don't know. The launch angle again was a little bit higher. I know out on the course, I've seen again that it launches the ball consistently high. But the one thing that remained consistent throughout, and the only thing that remained consistent throughout, is that I hit a ball on camera, I think at 256, one at 253, and in the dry ball data, we got one out at 251. And with the regular grip, we never broke 250 once. So if you just look at that alone, yes, there is, I think that suggests there is extra distance by using this grip. But whether it provides it consistently enough, whether it provides straight enough shots consistently enough, I still don't know if I'm honest with you. I know being out here on the course was a different uh, situation today, even from the first tee that we started off trying it, felt a little bit alien, maybe I was a little bit tentative with it. So it's something that you have got to get your head around a little bit and uh, get used to. But we're now into what this is, the ninth hole, a bit of fair few drives here with it. I'm now comfortable. I'm releasing that club head fairly well. And as you've seen what we finished off there is a decent drive. So I'll see how I get on for the next few holes and it'll stay on for a little while. And uh, I don't know, big debate because there's another video coming to you in the next couple of days where I've put an extra large grip or a jumbo grip, whatever you want to call them, 
onto a seven iron and onto a five wood and that's what I've been testing out here today and you'll see my theories on how they perform and whether or not it's something that you'll see in my bag for the rest of uh, well for, for the near future at least anyway right as ever thanks for watching before this tractor makes too much noise in the backdrop comments down below hit that like button and uh, I will see you all soon and thank you to Carden Park for letting us use the course today it's been absolutely glorious and he's getting really close see you later